However, if you're wondering, how do they do that? How do they make all those little people and big objects look so realistic? Well, this is how. to me about a little people movie was that you could do an entire action adventure sequence in that corner Mom! and effects now are certain that you could really do some amazing things i play arietti she's the eldest child of the clock family one day we all go out borrowing and and um, of course me being problem child who won't stay put for a minute causes havoc I meet a bean, one of the humans, the boy. Arietti sits down over here. I notice that something's moving up here. And so I come running over, and she disappears back here. And so then I go down here looking around, and when I pop back up, she's standing right here. <laughs> catch her in the coffee can and take her to the fishbowl. Wow. Go on, go ahead, Bean. Get started with. This is incredible. You can talk. Pod is the father of the borrowers. He used to be a bit of a wild boy in his youth. He's a, quite an effective soldier borrower. Everything is a, is a, a major sort of mountaineering operation for Pod, for any borrower. <laughs> and get your bags of cornflakes and, and your raisins and the pistachio nut. They're all, everything is this big. The idea of John Goodman was so appealing as, as, as the, the bad guy in this movie. Because we have, you know, our main characters are four inches high. So to have a human that is no, not only six foot two, but is, is larger than that in every sense. I mean, he's... His personality is vast, and he's, he's a, a great comic actor. I just thought it was a great story, um, and I, I was keen to see it on uh, on a screen, and that's usually a good indication that what I'm going to be doing is going to be enjoyable for the next five, eight, ten weeks, whatever. Creatures. Did you see his little hands? <laughs> oh. Come to think of it, you're probably not much wiser about how it's done, are you? Let's put it down to special effects and leave it at that. <laughs>